It's Friday evening, October 29th, and I am remotely connected to a client up in Scottsdale who has a situation where he's got a webmail email account right here. Um, and these are various folders that he has kept within his uh, webmail account. So he's accessing this account, account of course, through his web browser. And uh, the thing is, he uh, wants to transfer all of these files uh, down over to his Outlook program so his Outlook can keep it in and archive those folders instead of always having to access his webmail account. The thing is, um, he's, uh, we're unable to set up Outlook or this particular webmail account through an IMAP configuration, uh, which would have allowed um, Outlook to seamlessly produce and synchronize those folders down into Outlook. So since this webmail account has been restricted in that sense to not allow IMAP, um, a little trick that I've um, done in the past for many clients is to uh, move the emails that are in each of these folders uh, one at a time into the inbox. And then once they're all in the inbox, one folder at a time, we go off into Outlook and just with the normal pop configuration, have those emails drop down into the inbox folder um, as it always does. And then once it's in the inbox folder, then compile it into whatever subfolder with an Outlook that he wants. And then once that's um, filtered into what folder that he wants, then messages no longer show up in the webmail inbox, and we're free to do the next folder. So we're just dumping the, the uh, content from each folder that's in the webmail um, and then putting it into the inbox so that Outlook can retrieve it. And then once Outlook retrieves it, we just file it down into a subfolder with an Outlook and then just repeat the process. So that's what, what I'm doing right now. So for example, uh, I am on this folder. So I'm just going to select all move to inbox and there's a, a little over 300 messages each page I can grab a hundred at a time so we'll be doing this about uh, four times here so here's a three the three hundredth set of emails and here's the final set move to inbox and so now all the emails within this folder are now in the inbox and so now that it's in the inbox we can go into Outlook and then have it show up in the inbox. Right now it's empty in Outlook because I've already filed out the previous emails away. We'll do a send and receive. I'll check on the status here. And as you can see, two out of uh, 380 emails are being filed down. And those are precisely those emails that I've just a moment ago moved into the webmail inbox. So that's how that works. And that's one way to bypass the restriction of a webmail account not allowing to uh, have IMAP. So uh, in doing it this way, you can still transfer all your email folders down to Outlook. Um, hopefully, you didn't, uh, in a webmail account, you haven't created too many folders. I mean, if you're talking about hundreds of folders, then that's going to be pretty tedious. But at least that's a way to do it. So there you go.